The cross-validation settings made within EPM FastTrack ensure that the correct Hyperion characteristics are derived for each Hyperion account. The easy-to-use interface allows the customer to quickly set this up. To access the cross-validation rules, click on the cross-validation option within the Workbench menu. The screen is then split into two sections. The left-hand screen shows the book which has been assigned to the environment and the right-hand screen shows the account structure for the Hyperion chart of accounts. To display the accounts in the right-hand screen, highlight the top node of either the balance sheet or the profit and loss and then click on the expand subtree option. As you can see, the accounts are now displayed along with the account structure. Along the top of the right hand screen are the high parent characteristics that have been assigned to the book. There are three available options for the cross validation rules. They are mandatory, optional and suppressed. The mandatory setting checks that a value has been derived for the high parent characteristic. If no value is derived then a posting error will occur. The optional setting will result in no check being carried out. The suppressed option will clear any Hyperion characteristic value that may have been derived. To set the cross-validation rule for a specific Hyperion account Hyperion characteristic combination, just highlight the field and then select the appropriate option of either mandatory, optional or suppressed. You'll notice the colour will change to reflect the selected option. Mass changes can be made by selecting a higher level node and then selecting the appropriate cross-validation option. You'll notice that for a specific Hyperion characteristic that all the accounts under the high level node have been changed. The cross validation rules are then saved by clicking on the save button. That completes the demonstration of the cross validation rules.